If you're about to start studying for the AP Bio exam and you're thinking, how am I going to do this? This test is so complex. There is so much content and you have come to the right place. You're watching the right video. This video is going to give you five principles and a two week plan that will prepare you to walk into the AP bio exam with confidence and to walk out feeling I crushed it. I'm Glenn Wolkenfeld, also known as Mr. W. I'm a retired AP bio teacher. I taught AP bio for about 20 years and I've also served as an AP bio exam reader. A big part of my success had to do with my use of learn-biology.com. That's an online AP biology curriculum that I wrote for my own students. Right now, about 8,500 students are using learn-biology.com to prepare for the AP bio exam. A monthly subscription costs $24.95, and in addition to all of the AP bio exam preparation resources on the site, you also get access to me through live reviews that I'll be doing for subscribers between now and the AP bio exam. Principle number one, find the gaps in your knowledge. How do you find the gaps? I've got two ways for you to do this. The first is to use our ultimate AP bio review checklist. You can download it at apbiosuccess.com slash checklist. And I've released an accompanying speed review video that guides you through the checklist and walks you through the entire course. A checklist is a good start, but it relies on your own knowledge and judgment, which might not be perfectly accurate. So the next step to find the gaps is to test yourself. On learn-biology.com, click AP Bio Reviews on the menu bar. Choose the multiple choice test. Select 50 questions. Take the test. All of our tests are designed to teach you as you take the test. If you get a question wrong, you'll get a hint. Think about that hint because you'll get that same question again. When you've answered all the questions correctly, you'll get a report about the topics that you got wrong. Grab the text of that report and put it somewhere safe because we don't save it for you. You should do that twice for a total of 100 interactive questions. When you're done, combine what you learned from the test with your initial assessment from the checklist. Now you'll have a sense of your gaps. Those are the topics that you'll prioritize as you study. Principle two, fill the gaps. Now you have to fill the gaps and let me start by telling you what not to do. Do not reread your notes or read your textbook again or start highlighting like crazy. Those are inefficient and in fact, they can make you overconfident and think that you know things that you don't. Instead, do retrieval practice. Retrieval practice involves asking yourself questions and then saying the answer out loud to see if you can formulate a correct response. You can even write the answer down. And of course, this is a great activity to do with a study partner. It is the best method for getting stuff into memory and storing it away so that when you walk into the AP bio exam, you'll have access to it. The best way to do retrieval practice is through flashcards, but you don't have to make your own. We have hundreds of them on learn-biology.com and they're completely aligned with the AP Bio curriculum. Let's say that one of your gaps was in cell communication. On our flashcard question picker, you'd expand unit four and select the relevant topics. Take it slow. If you don't know a card, that's okay. You're filling the gaps. Slowly read the back side of the card then flip back to the question and recite the answer again. Repeat until you've really learned it and then click need more practice. That way you'll be tested on that card again. Only click got it if you really know the material. Note that the cards are marked in terms of relevance for the AP bio exam. Principle number three is particularly relevant for FRQ preparation. The principle is practice in a way that mimics the test. A big part of the AP bio exam is free response questions, FRQs. How are you going to get ready for that part of the exam? If you were a sprinter preparing for a big event, you would do a lot of sprinting as part of your training. And to get ready for FRQs, you're going to write a lot of responses to FRQs. Here's some general advice about how to respond to FRQs. The College Board uses command terms to tell you how to respond. They put these in bold, but as you read the prompts, you should circle them to make sure that you focus on responding to them. Make sure that you've carefully read the prompt and responded to all parts of the question. 
use the acronym ATP, answer the prompt. The College Board has been very generous with posting past FRQs. Studying these published FRQs is imperative. How do you study? Go somewhere where you won't be disturbed, turn off your phone so you don't get interrupted, and write FRQ responses. Write them out by hand, just like you'll have to do on the test. After you've written your response, evaluate what you wrote with the scoring guides that the College Board provides. Do this with as many of these past FRQs as possible. In addition to the College Board's FRQs, Learn Dash Biology has over 130 FRQs that you can practice with. They have great data sets and many questions focus on experimental design, something you have to know well for AP Bio success. Principle four, when you study, interleave study topics. The questions on the AP Bio exam will involve a lot of cross-topic thinking. The way you prepare yourself for that is by interleaving content. That means doing a question about genetics, followed by a question about protein structure, followed by a question about DNA, followed by one about community ecology. The good news is that learn-biology.com makes interleaving content easy. It's our default setting. For example, when you go to our multiple choice test, leave the topic picker set with all topics checked. Then we'll do the interleaving for you. Principle five, spaced repetition. Spaced repetition involves learning something new, giving yourself a little bit of time away from it, and then testing yourself on it again. Our quizzes by default have a spaced repetition setting. That means that as you get served new questions, you'll also be served questions that you answered in previous sessions. That's going to consolidate what you've previously learned and keep it fresh in your memory. I hope you're seeing that with learn-biology.com, you'll be able to study in the most efficient and effective way possible. We've made the flashcards, the FRQs, the multiple choice questions. We even have games called click on challenges that help you master all of those tricky diagrams that are a big part of AP Biology. And if that's not enough, your subscription to learn-biology.com gives you two added benefits. The first is access to the Biomania AP Bio app, which has the FRQs, multiple choice questions, flashcards, and tap challenges on learn-biology, but in a form that you can hold in your hand. The second is access to me. Between now and the AP Bio exam, I'll be doing reviews on Zoom, and these are only available to people who have purchased a subscription. It's $24.95, it's the best bargain in biology education, and it's what you need to get yourself to that four or five that you are aiming for. Now the plan. I've written out a plan for you, and you can download it by going to apbiosuccess.com plan. The plan tells you exactly what to do for the 14 days before the AP Bio exam. Right now, what I want you to do is watch this next video, which is a speed review of AP Biology that goes with the checklist. It's your first step in the plan.